Okay, so this is actually the second video. Um, the first one, I somehow must have hit slow-mo and didn't quite do it. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured it out. So we'll just do it again while it's pretty. The uh, yard is watered. The sprinklers have gone off. And um, like I said, I'll give you a tour of the stuff that I that has grown since last week, last Sunday. So this is really a one-week check-in. It's about 7.30 in the morning, uh, sunny Florida. And we'll start over here. Um, those are cucumbers. I actually replanted them uh, from last week in a bigger container. They're not doing anything. This I planted yesterday. Those are string beans. They have little paper clips in it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I couldn't find a little seed, so I made my own. I have plenty of um, clothespins, paper clips. <laughs> and then these are some sweet peas that I planted yesterday. What else did I plant? Let's do that. And then yesterday I planted um, oh, some yellow tomatoes. I'm not having any luck with the tomatoes. Okay, those were the beef steaks, tomatoes that I planted last week. They didn't do anything. So I planted some um, marigold seeds in the front and I bought another pack of to beef steak tomatoes and I put those seeds in the back. Back here, when I watered, I think it all got washed away anyway. We'll see where they end up. That's some zinnia, only because I like the name. Um, this is the lettuce I planted last week. And if you see, there's only two little things in there. Um, I replanted that too. So we'll see what happens. And then these are two different types of lettuce. I planted them in smaller containers. Um, it's only the two of us, Ty and I. So um, I figured two that I can cut at a time would be fine. What's my plan for? Clearly, I've overplanted some things. Um, what's my plan? I'm, I'm not throwing anything away. I'm going to just take them and um, I'm going to get another. Okay. I'm going to get some plastic containers like that. Those that they're already there. Put me some dirt in it. And anything that I overplanted, I'm just going to kind of stack back over there. I'm going to clean that mess up before my husband sees it. And uh, I'm going to just put it back there and just anything that we overgrew. I'm gonna just keep it and start growing. So overall, my little vertical garden, I'm gonna have to give it a, if it's possible to give it 10 snaps. Yeah, that's my, I, it's my world, 10 snaps. Cause this is, it was so cool. Um, last week I did leave some gaps cause I really wasn't sure, um, one, what I was doing and two, if anything would grow. But um, trust God. I wanted to do it, so here we go. Um, I, I really hope this doesn't make you too dizzy. But this is, um, I planted parsley yesterday, so there's nothing there. I planted oregano last week, and hopefully you can see there are, oh, that's onion. Um, you can see there's some little buds coming up in my onions. Okay. Cilantro. I planted last week and I'm telling you yesterday when I was out here trying to watch my pot boil <laughs> as my husband says leave it alone um, this was not there so we have some cilantro coming up I'll move this bucket again and this is basil I just planted that yesterday deal So yesterday when I was out here, I, I went in and watched videos and what the heck is wrong with my deal. And today, voila, there it is. My oregano, I don't know if you can see it back there. Um, I think my seeds wash back. Um, I'm not mad at me. Lesson learned. And if I have to take that, if it grows, if I have to take that top off and grab that uh, oregano, that is what I would do. Parsley. Um, I planted that yesterday, so there's nothing there. That's the first shelf. I was trying to do spices on the first shelf. That was my thought. The second shelf, um, let's go there. I planted these last week. These are collard, collard greens. and Oh, man, those are coming up. I planted radish yesterday, so there's nothing there yet. 
I like the color Swiss chard. I can't say I've ever eaten it, but um, I like the color of it, and I like the the greenness of the leaves. I'm one of those people. I'm not too fan of iceberg lettuce because I just don't like watery lettuce or lettuce that has no flavor. This is the spinach. Um, man, I may just go give me a whole separate container just oval plants of spinach. I love spinach, and it's coming out kind of cute. So we're gonna enjoy that. Um, I planted beets yesterday. Um, hopefully they'll, those will grow. I'll eat a few beets, I won't eat too many, but if, maybe if they're fresh, they'll taste a little bit better. And then here, I planted some pak choy yesterday. All right, that's the second shelf. The third shelf, I'm a big fan of uh, sweet peppers, not really hot peppers, but I do like to make um, salsa, so I know I needed a couple hot peppers. So this is cayenne, I just planted that yesterday. This is supposed to be some mixed green peppers. Um, I planted them last week and absolutely nothing's happening in there. Um, if it doesn't grow by, I'll give it another week or so. If not, I'll put something else in there. This is, this is also sweet peppers. It's supposed to be a multicolored thing, I think. And actually today, I have a little sprout. It was not there yesterday, so you must have heard me talking about digging them out. Patience, patience. This is Spanish peppers. Okay, I just planted that yesterday too. So nothing's happening there. And then, where are we back to? Where are we back to? What is this? Oh, that's peppermint. I just planted that yesterday. So, one, two. That's the third shelf. Let's go down to the fourth shelf. This is where the action was happening. I planted this last week. That's cabbage. Um... It looks good. Had a lot of little bugs out of that one. This is cauliflower. Cool. These are the things I really, really like. This is broccoli. Alright, so yesterday I planted some uh oh, sorry, some Brussels sprouts. So nothing's happening there. I planted some <laughs> eggplant and they're coming up I think these things are so little so cute um and then I'm planting some mustard yesterday so nothing's happening there and then did I start here well if I didn't that's the cabbage that's coming up really really good I got a lot of those my bottom shelf the squash did really good because I think I only put four in there or maybe five and I see them all so squash did good I love I like zucchini I got squash I'm gonna have to find me some zucchini this is the cucumber this is the yellow cucumber um, from burpees it's rocking I love cucumber so those I'll definitely get separated and put into different pots this is my empty gap oh so I may just move the cucumber over to the other side because I knew I overdid that. So we'll do that. This is this is a small um, pickling. It's supposed to be a small pickling uh, cucumbers. So I want because I want to can some of those. And then this is a tribute to my cousin Dietrich Didi, who. Um, who likes okra I don't like okra but eh, I may try it all right so Dee, Dee that's for you and then here's some cantaloupe that's doing pretty good and I think we started did we start the squash well we didn't we we'll end at the squash so the other thing that I really really love if you guys can't tell is I love black eyed peas and I love lima beans. So I kind of planted them in the same bucket. I'll plant, a, I do plan to thin them out. I'm not throwing them away. I will thin them out. And if you can see, those came out really, really good. That's only one week. So this guy right here, can you see him? 
think I, I watched him come up out of the soil and he's huge. I just put a little dirt around the root because I can actually see the roots. So this is him and his cousins. I don't know if it's a lima bean or uh, a black eyed pea. I mean, frankly, I don't really care. Look at this one. Pushing the dirt up. Look at God. Look at God. Guys, this is awesome. All right. That is... I'm trying to turn the camera around, but until then, you can look at my yard. All right, I guess I can't flip it around. Um, but again, this is my my one week check in. This is not my containers. I have a table that I'm gonna put this stuff on. But right now, um, I'm just enjoying this experience. I don't know if you guys heard me say in, my, in the first one that I made um, those lima beans and those purple hole these things. I remember as a kid sitting on my grandma's porch and shelling those and you know, complaining about my fingers turning purple. And now, I won't tell you how old I am, but it's been at least 50 years. Um, I can't wait to see my fingers turn purple. That was good eating. Um, all right, so I'm, my, my girl, my great nieces are gonna be here and I want them to enjoy the experience. So I started it early for them. Um, hopefully they'll get to come out and water stuff and See how it goes. Um, this is awesome. I do have a um, Twitter page and um, an Instagram page. My Instagram name I know is uh, Awesome Wonders. So if all goes well, I'll post it there too. So you guys can kind of get an idea what it's like. I decided I wanted to grow a garden and we, like I said, we have deer in our backyard. We have big rabbits. Apparently there's an armadillo someplace and I'm not gonna compete with no critters. So I was gonna plant it back there. You can see there was a couple spots. I guess the previous owner had a garden or something back there. So I was gonna go back there, but I felt like this was, my best bet was to just start um, with something that uh, I don't have to worry about too many critters. I plan to be all organic, so I'm trying to read on what to do. Not that the seeds are organic, but I don't want to spray any pesticides or anything like that on anything. So I may be reaching out, saying, okay, what do I do? Um, love what God has done. Isn't he awesome? See you on the next update. One, This is just one week from a real novice. Be blessed.